Welcome to the West Winds Breviary. We trust these short online services will inspire you and ennoble you, giving you hope and courage as you shadow God in the redemption of the world. Morning, everybody. Thanks for being with us today for Church Online. Why are you eager to judge these other people? You are worse than they are. Galatians 6, verses 1 through 5. Brothers, if anyone is caught in any transgression, you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Keep watch on yourself, lest you too be tempted. Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if anyone thinks he's something when he's nothing, he deceives himself. But let each one test his own work, and then his reason to boast will be in himself alone and not in his neighbor. For each will have to bear his own load. It's a fascinating piece of the Bible that gives us two practical ways of being spiritual. Number one, gentle restoration. Let me read it again. If anyone's caught in any transgression, in any sin, you catch somebody doing something wrong, you who are spiritual, <clears throat> that might be you, that might be you if, should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. How, how do we know if somebody's spiritual? If they restore another person in a spirit of gentleness, if they gently restore another believer. Now, I've met lots of believers who are eager to identify sin in others and point it out. That's not what the Apostle Paul is talking about here. He's saying if you're spiritual, if you bear the fruits of the Spirit, then you're going to restore gently. One of the practical ways for you and I 
to live out the life is to restore others gently. That, that means that we don't neglect their sin. Like if somebody's doing something they ought not to, we don't wink at it. We don't pretend we don't see it. No, like Matthew, or like the Gospel of Matthew suggests, Matthew 18, we, we go to him one-on-one -on -one privately, say, hey man, I think you're involved in something that you, you really shouldn't be. Um, if you're serious about following Jesus, knock it off. Now, here's a question for you. Um, how many people at West Winds do you think I've had a conversation like that with? Because it's a lot. How, how many people in my life as a Christian do you think I've had a conversation like that with? It's, it's, it's a lot. Now, sometimes if they're people I'm really close to and they're, they're my friends, some, sometimes that conversation gets, gets a little aggressive. And, that, and then I got to repent for my own aggression, you know? I mean, I, I remember on, on more than one occasion gr grabbing hold of my friends and shaking them, going, what is wrong with you, you knucklehead? Um, I think maybe some of my friends who have experienced that are watching this video right now, and I'm sorry. I, was, I wasn't especially spiritual or gentle, but, uh, but that's the idea, is that you, you restore them. You, you get them back on track. It's not to shame them. It's not to air their dirty laundry. It's to restore them and to do so with a gentle spirit. So, so we never ignore their sin, we never neglect their sin, but neither do we grandstand. I mean, this is what anybody, well, not anybody, but mo most people who've got the guts to challenge somebody on their sin want to grandstand. We want to point out their sin so that we feel spiritual because the, the, the focus is on them and their sinfulness instead of us and our sinfulness. Meanwhile, we know we got it. That's why we're warned multiple times to be careful who we judge and how we judge. But, but again, so we, we neither want to neglect it nor do we want to grandstand. I mean, like I said, there's, there's literally hundreds and hundreds of people at West Winds that I have had private conversations with one-on-one -on -one where I've challenged them about their sex lives, about their spending habits, about their treatment of others, about their exploitation of the poor. And you don't know who those people are and you don't know what those conversations have been like because I've never been grandstanding. We ought to restore gently. That's one practical way of being spiritual. And the other one is like it, that we ought to share the load. We ought to bear one another's burdens. Hi, now, listen, this is a time where, amazingly, we are really doing that. This is a time when the church of God, when the people of God are rising up, locking arms with each other, supporting one another. And you know how we share the load? We listen. We listen. We don't give advice. We don't fix it for everybody. We don't save everybody. We just, we just listen. We just be there for one another in solidarity and friendship. So if you're looking for the words from the Apostle Paul to help you figure out how to be a good Christian right now in the midst of COVID, restore gently and share the load. us with the power to remember you oh God even unto death grant us with the power to remember you one God now and forever one God
Good morning. Today I want to thank Lisa Regelman um, for all of her help with staining the boxes. Um, she did such an awesome job. She has such a great attitude and I love working with you, Lisa. Um, thank you and I'm going to give you a $5 gift card to Starbucks. Our judgments are stones piled upon our own necks. Our eyes see the stones and we recognize their weight, but our hands won't remove them. Grace and peace, everybody. Thanks for being with us today on the West Winds Breviary.